Okay, well, we are back. And so I let this sit overnight and um, cure up. So let's pull this off of here, pull the clamps off. Um, so that looks really good there. And let's check our little plate here. All right, so there's there's that piece epoxied onto there. So this is nice and secure now. So let's put this back in here. It pops right there. Nice. Okay, so now we have sort of the foundation, if you will, for this new plywood plate that's going to be the support for the landing gear. Um, yeah, so it's going to go like that. There's a little bit, I may have to work a little bit on it, but um, I think it's pretty good um, where it is right here. So what I'm going to do now is as you can see, or maybe it's hard to see, but this is okay back here. But I do want to, I'm going to sand, sand these edges down. This one's actually pretty good over here. Um, I'm going to sand this down and kind of clean it up a little bit. And um, then we'll measure, we'll start measuring for this, um, from like this little aluminum um, sheeting I'm going to put, put right here. So first of all, let's go ahead and get this shape because I don't want to, I need to do this before I measure and cut the aluminum. So I want to just make sure that I got this kind of where I like it. Okay, so I've done the rough sanding and I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna, I will come back and do some additional finishing, but I think this is good right now for the fit. And I think what I'm gonna do real, real right now is I'm going to, um, I'm gonna mark this, I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put at least two, two lightning holes in here just to take a little bit of the weight off. Um, you know, it's just not gonna, it's not gonna matter probably that much overall for the whole thing, but I'm, since I know that I'm adding stuff, I just feel better that I'm kind of trying to make it as light as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this up for um, to, to drill out some lightning holes. All right, so I know this is where my approximate middle is right here. And then I got back here, so let me pull this off here. Boy, that really looks funky, doesn't it? But hey, it fits and it just sort of mimics the, uh, the repair area. So this is sort of my center I don't have to be perfect with this. And then I have my center back here. Let me measure this. I'm about two and three, two and three quarters. So that's about one and three eighths. I'm just gonna measure. Like I said, I'm not gonna, I don't have to be perfect with this. Yeah, so that's about, that's about right in the middle. And I know this side's pretty square. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do this right here. I'm gonna shoot for that other side that I marked. Okay, 
Now, when I mark the landing gear on here, I'm going to be a lot more careful, but this is just so I have sort of a center. Now, I don't know what, how, sot, what, how big I want to make those holes, but I'm going to put a couple. The other reason I want to do this is because when I put this in here, um, I'm going to have to pull up on this to get it to, to seat up inside here. So when I go to epoxy this in, I don't want it, you know, falling down. So I'm going to use the lightning hole to, um, you know, be able to just pull this up. I thought about maybe putting a screw in here just temporary so I can pull it up and hold it like that. But I think if I just do a couple things like this, it'll help. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe I'm going to drill. I don't know what size. Obviously, I don't want to take away from the, <clears throat> I don't want to take away from the strength of the, um, of the plywood. So that's a one inch right there. I'm just going to put one down here somewhere like this. And then time we get down here, I'm not going to be perfect with this. That's one and a quarter. One and a quarter is about right here. Okay, I'm not being perfect with this, but okay. So I'm going to go look at my drill bits. I'm going to use um like a hole drill. I mean, all drills are for holes, but I'm going to use those um spade drills. I think they're called. And I'm going to probably put a I don't know, we'll see what size I should fit here. So let me grab those drill bits. Okay, so I was gonna use one of these and you know, something like this 5 eighths or something. Um, and I forget what these drills are. I think there's, like I said, I think these are called spade drills or something, but these are okay. These work, these work pretty good. But since I'm drilling, oops, into something pretty thin like this, um, that could get a little bit squirrely on us. So I was, I actually came across something else on my tool chest which was this hole saw for putting in um, putting in um, locks, door locks. So this will actually work pretty good. So um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do, I'll do a couple here. One, two, three, one, two, three right here. So this will, that's a good size and it'll take out some of the, I mean, really, is it that much weight I'm taking off? Uh, not really, but if I kind of add it up over the course of this repair, if I just sort of minimize, then maybe that'll help in the long run. Okay, so I have my drill. Now you're talking a big tool for something pretty delicate, but this will work. Um, let's get this in here. So the nice thing about this, this hole saw for this, is that um, I'm getting all tangled up here. Hold on a second. Um, is that of course it has the smaller drill bit in here, and then you have the saw on the outside. So this is going to help guide it. And, but before I do that, I'm going to use something. I normally would use like a, like a um, an awl or something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and try to put a little bit of a guide in here. Start it out. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to set right up on here. Oil oh boy. Okay. And I'm going to watch my hands. Okay. Boy, that's pretty big. All right, I'm going to... Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. But I'm going to move this. I'm going to I'm going to go in between. I don't think I want to take that much out. So Okay. Good. I think that's okay. That um, lightened it up a little bit and I still have the strength. So let's go ahead and use that. Let's see what it looks like now. Da, da, da. 
get in there. Okay, good. Now, obviously, so when I go to glue this in, it's like a bowling ball. I didn't, I'm not doing that just for that purpose, but I can now pull up on this and kind of get that set in there really nice, kind of seated in there. Good. Okay. So there you go. So there's the plate, um, the plywood plate. Now, our landing gear, our wonderful landing gear, is going to mount, you know, here. Here's the other one. Uh, move the camera around. Oops, these are backwards. I'm tempted to put them forward. I don't know what that would do. That's what I probably should do, right? But um, I'm just going to go ahead and follow the design. I don't want to... Um, so those are going to go like this. Now, hopefully what's going to happen is now between doing this and then putting this that um, my aluminum um, uh, sheeting over that side of it, that's going to help. And then plus with being glued, epoxied here and then epoxied all around here, I'm hoping between those things, that's really going to withstand that sort of um, that pull backwards. At least that's the theory.